Hi, I'm Michelle. And I'm Steph with Sunnyside Design. We're getting anxious for back to school and today we are going to share a bunch of homework station ideas for you. Today we've teamed up with top bloggers who have created amazing homework stations in their homes. So stay tuned and get a little inspiration for your own home. So what's a mom to do if you just don't have space for a dedicated homework station in your home? Take a look at these clever ideas that will help your kids stay focused and organized with portable homework stations. Clearly, we love Christina's idea of a mini DIY homework station. This little tote is so handy. It can be easily moved depending where her girls are working. You can see her full tutorial on her website. Be sure to look in the description for all of the links. If there's no time to actually craft a portable homework station, then you need to see Emily's creative idea. She created a neat and organized portable tote from purchased containers. You'll find all of the details on her site. And now let's take a look at utilizing small spaces to create the perfect study area. Oh my, isn't this floating desk so smart? First of all, Jessica created a homework station for her daughter that uses minimal space, along with the fact that it's visually minimal. Did you notice all of the storage on the wall too? Get all of the details on Jessica's site. Talk about using a small space. Take a look at this workspace Karen created in a closet, creating a cloffus, a, clos a closet plus an office. Karen created a floating desk for only $40. What a bargain. Be sure to check out her site and see many more photos and ideas for using that closet office space. Now you don't even need a dedicated room for a homework station. Christina created a spot for her girls that they love. And I love that she just utilized space in their basement family room. Check out that fun bulletin board she created for a little inspiration. This was the perfect budget friendly idea for this area. We spotted this really clever homework station at the Northern Wasatch Parade of Homes this year. This little nook is just off the kitchen and it's the perfect place for mom and dad to keep an eye on the kiddos. You can never have too much storage and it is just the perfect place for this right off the kitchen and family room. And in addition, the barn doors are perfect for closing it off and hiding away the mess. If you like to get down and dirty like we do, you might want to craft your own homework station. So Rachel has carved out a space for her son in the craft room. Not only has she created a great homework station, but also a creative and simple display for showing off his work. Isn't this desk adorable? Stephanie has built this desk with storage just right for grade schoolers. She says, although this build has a lot of steps, she assures us that it's not hard. Check out all the details, her cut list and PDF plans on her website. Are you looking for an L-shaped homework station? Then you'll want to see Tony's DIY project. She's created a large work surface with lots of storage too. This is a doable project, even for the beginner. Do you need space for more than one child to do their homework? I think this accent wall homework station is not only beautiful, but functional too. For example, take a look at the way Jessica used the vertical space for storage. Everything, clearly everything has a place and it looks so good. Jessica has created a homework station for each of her daughters and one for herself in the middle. This space is absolutely gorgeous. I love the boho vibe in this room. Not only have Chelsea and Logan created two separate work zones in this space, but you have to see their giant pegboard wall. It's so creative and so amazing. Go check it out. This homework station has plenty of room to work. It's huge, not to mention plenty of storage too. This inspiration is also from the Northern Wasatch Parade of Homes a couple years ago. One element I really love is all of the natural light that is flooding into this room. Those windows are huge. I also like the idea of having a little homework station in our kids' rooms. 
So this homework station in Gavin's room has plenty of room for getting his homework done and it also has lots of storage space um, on all of those open shelves. And this one in Ellie's room is one of our favorite builds. Not only did we need a homework station for Ellie, but she also needed a ton of storage for her art supplies. So we created this built-in desk, upcycling a small dresser and two bookcases. And to finish it off, we have this fun boho French style chair. Did you get some great ideas for creating a homework station in your home? We hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to share it with your friends, your family. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.